what's up? This is Blaze the Movie Fan. And before I get started on today's video, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. I hate having to do this, but since it's common for political YouTubers to treat others like enemies, and by the way, that shit seriously needs to stop now. I have to clarify this. I don't hate Tatsubo at all. Not even close. I think he's a very cool guy. But I strongly disagree with the video that I'm responding to. Now before I dive into the actual video, I'm gonna give you a bit of a history with him. Back in 2009, I was looking for a review of Watchmen. And I found his review of it and I enjoyed it. So I subscribed. And I was very cool with him and he was cool with me. He did watch my videos frequently back then and I did the same. Hell, I even made a video responding to him back in 2011. But I don't watch his content much anymore. I still am subscribed to him just in case I stumble across a video in my subscription box which I'm interested in. But overall, I haven't been interested in his content for years. And he's basically the same with me. Which, to be fair, is fine. I consider him a very good friend regardless of that. Now, it has annoyed me for fucking months when people tear down statues of important political figures such as George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. And I think his video is perfect to address my issues with that. So, anyway, without further ado, let's dive in. Greetings, YouTube. So, I've been thinking about the statues. <clears throat> They're all in the news. Um, some are being taken down by cities. Some, I think some of them are being taken down by people. And it has a lot of folks in the conservative sphere, let's say, very upset. Yeah, and they have every right to be fucking upset. Those statues are important. In fact, um, the president of the United States is upset about, you know, taking down those statues and things like that because, you know, they they represent our heritage. Now, I'm not a Trump supporter. I really am not. I'm neutral towards him. I neither like him or hate him. But you know what? Trump is completely in the right for being pissed about that. A heritage of racism and slavery and discrimination and oppression. That's not that fucking all what the statues are celebrating. The reason why the statues were built in the first place is because those people accomplished something great in life. It took them fucking decades to accomplish earning getting a statue built after them. I will give an example. Abraham Lincoln was struggling to get slavery to become illegal. Not a lot of people agreed with him at the time, so it was fucking difficult. And if it wasn't for him, slavery would still be legal today. So having a statue of him is important since he accomplished chance in the fucking law, which is one hell of an accomplishment, which not many people can succeed on doing. Which is apparently a, a heritage that he would like to preserve. Not really shocking there, his father was a Klansman. Science, I know nothing about that. I won't comment on that. I've spoken about these statues before, but I want to make it very clear. Tear down the fucking statue. Oh my god, I think this is the first time you've used the word fuck in your videos. Well, at least the first time I'm aware of. What the hell do I know, right? I haven't watched your videos on a regular basis in years. But the fact that you used the word fuck is still fucking awesome though. Remove every single statue in the United States of America of a person that owned even a single slave. Not everyone who owned slaves back then did it because they thought it was the right thing to do. They did it because it was the most reliable option back then. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not excusing or justifying slavery from the past because I agree that it was fucking disgusting. But my point is, taking historical context into account is important. But there is another much bigger problem. You're cherry picking the bad shit those people did back then and completely ignoring their accomplishments which are the reason why they got statues built based around them in the fucking first place. That is nasty man. Or was an officer in the confederacy or a soldier in the confederacy. I know nothing about that so I'm not gonna comment on that. Put them in museums. So let me get this straight. You want statues to be moved from public gardens to museums. Do you have any idea how fucking expensive it would be? Also, why the hell should people have to pay for admission just to be able to see 
statues of important political figures. Honestly, those statues should stay at public fucking garden because that's where they belong. So everyone can see those statues plain as day. I'd even go further than removing the statue. I think we should replace all the statues with statues of not white people. Do you have any idea how fucking racist that sounds? You shouldn't even care about the color of their skins. You should instead care about the accomplishments in their lives, which is the main reason why these statues were built in the first place. Now, I am not accusing you of being racist. Let me make that clear. Science, I don't like putting labels on people. I am addressing the point, not the person behind it. And what you said here is very fucking racist. I'm sorry, but it is. There's a lot of white people already out there. So why don't we put some people statues up there representing the people in America, say, that existed before we got here, or the black people, or the brown people, or the Asian people, all who have contributed to making America what it is today. It's official then. You care more about the color of their skins than their fucking accomplishments. I am not gonna lie, man. That is messed up. Oh, and I decided to look up if a statue of Martin Luther King Jr. exists, and I found out that a statue of him in the United States does exist. So your assumption that there are no black people who got statues built after them is complete bullshit. Now just to be clear, I know that you never directly said that. But your point that there needs to be more statues like that sure as hell implies that to me. How about we put some statues up to women? There aren't a lot of those. Alright, there are a lot of statues of women all around the world. But if we are only talking about the US specifically, there is one statue that's impossible to not come to your mind when you think about the United States, especially New York. I am of course talking about the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty is clearly a statue of a fucking woman. The fact that you completely overlooked that when making this point is pretty stupid to be honest. But I'd even go further than that. I would take the name of anyone that was a slave owner or who fought for the Confederacy off every single thing in America. All the streets, all the buildings, all the monuments, all the cities, all of them. How do you not realize that would cause a lot of damage? I mean seriously, if that were to happen, what you could name those things after would be very limited and it would cause more harm than good. Besides, it would be very difficult to clarify which location you're referring to. It's baffling to me how you don't fucking see that. And I put those names where they belong in a history book so that people could learn about them in context. I don't think you get the point of those statues. The point of the statues is to show important people who accomplished a lot in their lives, like I said. Also, how the hell do you expect people to look up important political figures if there are no statues of them? Realistically speaking, they won't. Because they aren't even aware that political figure even exists. And if they aren't aware of his existence, of course they aren't going to look it up on Google or in a history book. Since they have no fucking idea who to look for. I'd change the name of Washington DC because Columbus and Washington were both slavers and rapists. I mean sure, they were rapists. But no one alive today is condoning that. And like you've done throughout the video, you're cherry picking the bad things they did and ignoring the good things they did. There is a damn good reason why there is a statue of George Washington. It's thanks to him that the United States became a free nation. At the time, the United States was one of the few free nations in the world. And unfortunately, even now, in 2020, it still is. I am lucky to live in Iceland, which, like the United States, is another nation with free speech laughs. Take the name Washington off the Washington Monument, because not only is it named after a slaver, it was built by slaves. I don't think anyone is going to argue that the slave trade in the past was fucking disgusting. In fact, most white people living today are against that 100% and are disgusted by it. Now I'm not going to be naive and assume that people who thought it was a good thing don't exist because I'm sure they do. But it's only the vast minority. It's such a small minority that I can't even fucking think of one. And this is coming from somebody who watches a lot of political YouTubers. Change it all. Why? Because life is dynamic. We 
are dynamic. We are a moving point on a wave. We never stand still. And we have to learn and adapt and change. And the reality is, is that we're not. Actually, I would argue that acknowledging the great heroes from the past will help us move forward. Ignoring their existence is it going to help us with that at all. Because if we do, we are likely to repeat the mistakes of the past. After all, the term, those who don't learn from history are dumb to repeat it, exists for a reason. Those statues weren't put up at the end of the Civil War. Those statues were put up there as a symbol to the black people of America that we used to own you and we are going to continue to oppress you. Can you show me some proof of the fact that those statues are celebrating slavery? Because I don't believe it at all. Now look, I'm not going to deny the fact that there might be some black people in the United States that are being oppressed. There probably are. But assuming it's as bad as it was in the past, it's just fucking wrong. I mean, we had a fucking black president recently. That proves that black people aren't as oppressed as they were in the past. Also, most white people aren't gladly fucking oppressing black people. In fact, most of them believe that black people and white people should be treated equally. Whether they're founding fathers or presidents or whoever the hell they are. Get their names off of things. I know people are saying, well, you shouldn't change Jefferson or Washington because they were founding fathers. I don't give a shit that they were founding founding fathers. They were slavers. And we know Jefferson was a rapist. You don't give a shit about the founding fathers. That's fine. It's your opinion after all. Though I must say, that doesn't give you the right to say the statues should be turned down. Also, the Founding Fathers are one of the most important people in US history. It wasn't just George Washington that helped making the United States a free country. The Founding Fathers also helped making the First Amendment. So ignoring their existence will only do more harm than good. I know I'm a wacky progressive. No, trust me, the fact that you are a progressive isn't the issue. The issue is you want changes that do more harm than good. Let us show not only the world at large, but the black people that live here, that we recognize our wrongs. Like I said before, nobody alive today even approves of slavery from the past. In fact, most people are fucking disgusted by it. But I'm gonna go a step further. You know what the Holocaust? Mistreatment of homosexuals, invading other countries, violation of women's rights, and more all have in common. They're all things that most people today look back at with absolute fucking disgust. So most people are recognizing the errors from the past by being absolutely fucking disgusted by those tragedies. I don't know why you can't see that. We are willing to admit our wrongs. So at least we can begin to move forward. But a whole lot of white people in America are terrified about that. They're, they're terrified to admit they're wrong. You know, organizations towards white people throughout this video is fucking disgusting. Not only that, but it's also extremely racist. Now look, I am not gonna sit there and assume that white people who are blatantly racist towards black people don't exist. I know for a fact that those kinds of people do. But that's just the minority of them. The majority of them don't judge people based on the color of their skins, but instead by the content of their character. So will you please knock it off with those disgusting generalizations? They have gotten on my nerves. They can't even admit their own damn history. So they cling to the past and they continue to perpetuate veneration of slavers and rapists. Isn't that exactly what racists who blame modern white people for the slavery in the past are doing. In fact, I would argue what they are doing is far more dangerous than those white people you are referencing are doing. Nobody deserves to be judged by the color of their skins since that's something that they can't help. And it's also wrong to blame modern white people for the slavery in the past. Because like I made clear earlier, most modern white people are fucking disgusted by the slavery in the past. Now to be fair, I know those racists are a very small minority. But unfortunately that small minority still have a big voice. And they are doing a lot of damage today and are rightfully called out. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. Touch your bow. 
I am not going to sit there and tell you that you are wrong for your opinion. If this is how you truly feel, you are of course entitled to it. But I strongly disagree with everything that you said in the video. I hope you don't take this as an attack on you as a person. Because I have no issue with you as a person. I don't. But yeah, I didn't agree with you at all in what you said in the video. I'm sorry man, but I will still respect you as a person. Anyway people, you will see the end of the video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.